All right, so let's start the session. Hello, everyone. Uh, it, it's so uh, glad to be here. It, uh, it's always my passion to speak to you, uh, you guys, particularly the younger generation. Uh, so when I say younger generation, you, you play a very crucial role in uh, our, our country's development, uh, particularly uh, if you look at the younger, you know, uh, generation uh, you are at the edge of it right you are, you are just about to step out from your education and start playing a crucial role in the society so in uh, I, I see a greater potential uh, in you as Sri Lankans I see uh, great things that's happening and that is coming from uh, undergraduates as well uh, particularly at this crisis time also we see that a lot of a uh, lot of graduates undergraduates come out uh, from their their comfort zones and you know start innovating right uh, all of you pretty much all of you who are who are here so far who are yet to join have the same potential yeah so it's my privilege to uh, speak to you guys and this is going to be a fully interactive session which is uh, two hours uh, but I assure that you're not gonna feel as if it's, it's two hours and it's too long. So my job is to conduct it in a way uh, that is more appealing, more, more uh, motivating you, right? So let's start with that. Uh, is everything all right? Does everyone hear me perfectly? Yep, yep. we can hear you. Uh, what about others? Is there anyone who can't? Clear clearly. Hope everyone hear you. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, very clear. We can hear you. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting two hours. I, I I will try my best to make it more engaging, more interesting uh, for you, and also value adding. I don't want any one of you to leave uh, this particular webinar thinking that it's a utter waste of my time. Right. That's that's not my my goal at all and i'm very conscious about it so any moment you think uh, i need to adjust you are free to let me know during the session as well but my experience is that you know the contents that are lined up contents that i'm going to talk about the way i'm going to do, do it will will definitely uh, energize you right get you on boarded into the session so with that let's move on now okay so what I'm going to talk about today is something that is absolutely crucial for every one of you. Why I say that is, this is something that I did not know five years ago. This is something that I did not realize five years ago. Why I say five years? Because, uh, you know, if you look at my, my uh, professional profile, uh, my career, you know, five years ago, I was, I was doing pretty much good. I was a manager. I was working for a big company, big bank. Uh, but yet, uh, as an individual, what I could envision myself doing with the knowledge I have, with the competencies I have, uh, with the skill set that I have gained during my lifetime uh, was somewhat limited, right? Uh, I, yes, I earn good enough salary. Yes, I, I you know, lived a good life. I, I was able to, uh, you know, do pretty much everything uh, we would envision doing being a Sri Lankan, right? It's basically two things that we all try to do in our lifetime. One, build your own house. Second, build, you know, buy your own car, right? So I was doing that. I was able to get there, right? And when I say I was able to get there, I have come from a very, very tough uh, background, right? So it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it looked like that's not what I deserve, right? In my childhood, I would never think, you know, uh, that I will be doing uh, what I'm doing uh, at that time. But, you know, somehow I managed to do that five years ago. But, you know, uh, at, if, if I look back five years and then afterwards, uh, what I'm doing now is totally different. It is not to mainly uh, to do with money itself. It's not just finance, right? Uh, it is a lot of other things that I have been able to do with the younger community. That's something like, you know, knowledge sharing, something like uh, educating and empowering people. Because it's, it's a matter of a word. 
it's a matter of uh, just few thoughts that that can change someone's life so that's the that's the criticality of what i'm talking about right so what i'm going to talk to you today is two things number one how do you position yourself as undergraduates as of now and when you become graduates how do you still continue to position yourself in the society uh, so that you get the right value yeah being a graduate know this right i think all of you will know this all of you uh, you need to realize this now if there are 300 people studying in your batch not that all 300 people are going to end up doing absolutely great at the same level some of them will struggle some of them will do just average the good some of them few of them will do exceptionally well they will become the leaders they will become uh, the tech uh, you know highly technical people who will change the world who will change the country right so what's the difference one competency right how competent are you on the skill set that is required for you to be successful second this is the most overlooked aspect in our culture that is the positioning the positioning in the sense you know having a degree having the best set of skills competencies if you are not able to position yourself effectively you are not going to earn as much as you would dream you would think of yeah so it's all about to do with self marketing self advertising up to a level as well it's not to exaggerate yourself but to market at the right level right for example if you know java you need to go out and you know say i know java otherwise don't expect outside the world to just know that you have learned java and then reach out to you until you you know unless you just tell them that's not going to happen so position in place a major role so i'm going to talk about the position in first place the second thing is i'm going to talk about uh, five about five agile strategies that can change your entire operational model execution model the way you operate so far might be the problem might be the concern that you have in terms of having the right growth yeah, so i'm going to take you through these two aspects within these two hours all right so any questions uh if i just do a quick check-in can you all just type uh yes if you if you agree with this right everyone uh listening uh just type yes in the chat window so i'm just gonna watch that right uh so if you understand and agree of what i'm saying just type yes that said, if anyone has a question, anyone has anything that, that needs to be discussed other than what I have discussed, just mention that as well. Yeah? So I see a lot of yeses there. Thanks for that. Great. All right. Okay. Lovely. So I see a lot of comments coming in. That's fantastic. So I have a few surprises also for you, right? So you definitely love that experience. So let's wait for that uh, soon. Yeah, so, okay. So everyone is clear. Let's move on. Now, uh, I'm sure you are able to speak up because that's part of the game when you're in a webinar like this. Uh, you should be equipped uh, such a way you can interact the best interaction right the best interaction is uh, so far we've been virtual is a face to face communication right virtually so you need if possible keep your video on uh, so that i see the interaction i see your responses i see your you know emotional uh, response uh, that's kind of important right so if you are in a position to switch on your video please do so uh, that's one that's one uh, recommendation that I can initially provide you uh, when you're online, when you're studying, when you're facing an interview, when you're in a meeting, do that, right? So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is uh, you should be ready to speak up. You should be able to shout out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you to uh, participate in a lot of activities during the session. I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to, you know, give some uh, rewards for the people who are answering 
correct yeah so can i can i ask everyone to be on video okay i see my own brother <laughs> first place quickly adjust right so uh you know, being agile also means be, being able to adjust quickly. So if you are not thinking of uh, such experience, I think, you know, uh, just know that this is gonna be a fully interactive session. So I, I want each other to see what's going on, each other to see everyone else's uh, reactions, right? Uh, okay, so I see a lot of, uh, lot of uh, people without, the video. I'm just running through the, the video list. So you are not going to be charged, right? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so most, you know, most probably your, your data uh, charge is waved off due to the link we use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh also can i just check uh your audio is on right get your audio because we are do, going to do a quick activity and I, I again remind you to just switch on your video uh and get your uh, mic switched on so you have a very quick activity as a as a check-in as as an onboarding uh, activity yeah Thanks, Hiranta, for switching on with you. <laughs> Can you pass a message to your friends? Chat them. Thank you. Thank you. I see quite a few now. Okay. So, nevertheless, let's move on. Uh, just, just, just remember that uh, if you can adjust yourself, wear something decent, and then you know, get get to the camera. That's the best because there's going to be a totally different virtual experience if you do so. I want fullest interaction from every one of you. Yeah. So we are going to shout out something. For that, you need the mic. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to shout out is something we should tell, something we should tell ourselves daily basis. Right. Particularly when, when our mind says it's not possible. Now, trust me. Me being a motivational speaker, there are numerous times my, my inside, my inner voice says, it, you, know, you know, it's not possible, right? It, 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 it's, it comes in various forms. It comes in just frustration, disappointment, uh, you know, but there are different ways that, that we get that feeling, that thinking, right? So whenever that happens in you, it has to be a habit that you tell your inner voice, you're not going to, you know, shut up, right? So we are going to do a lot of lot of uh, activities on this, but initially I want everyone to shout out, saying it's possible. So this is how you say it, right? I'm going to count up to three. As I count up to three, every one of you is going to shout out together, right? So you have to follow my my instructions so that we get that right. Okay, are we clear, everyone? Yeah. Can yes. I expect yes? Are we ready? Yes. 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 Say it loud. I want more, more, more loud voice, right? Are, are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So yes. I'm going to count up to three. As soon as I count up to three, please shout out saying it's possible. This is how you say it, right? It's possible. Right? Let's do it. One, two, three. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. No, you say it in a way it's not totally possible. <laughs> so get that energy, get that energy, right? Let's try it one more time. Don't worry, no one is watching you, right? You are just virtual. You might be the only person in your room. Shout at your best energy level. Say it one more time. Let's get this right. Okay? One, two, three. Yes, it's possible. possible. It's possible. Okay, I think communication has happened due to the online. Possible. Yeah, okay, perfect. 
so th remember this, right? So this is something that, that, that we all know, but sometimes we tend to miss this. We tend to just uh, ignore this, this thing and, and just believe uh, the inner voice when it said, says it's not possible, we tend to believe it and then, you know, but shut up and back up, uh, you know, get back on our usual stuff without going for our dream and the, the big objectives because all right so now the next thing that i want you to do is this i'm gonna just uh, play a video this is an introductory video uh, I, I want you to grab some some learning from here right when you just go through it just one minute video when you go through it uh, just type just uh, put put one learning in the chat window right if you learn if you learn one thing if you learn one thing put that in the chat window say i learned okay this is my takeaway this is my lesson all right so i'm gonna play it I think we are not getting the audio. All right. So can can you all just type anything? It's a short video. It's also a promotional video that I I uh, put in my YouTube channel, right? But in any learning from that? Chase our dream. Oh, okay, you didn't hear the video. That's that's okay. That's interesting. Uh, So audio is fine, right? So it's just the, the text maybe, right? The, the contents that you see, any learning from that? So I'll play it again, right? Just, just put down your learning. So let's quickly uh, look at the, the chat. Yeah, so it's, it's a very short video, but I have put down some of the key uh, messages there. Find the best version myself, just do it nice. Find your better version. Step out from your comfort zone if you want to be successful. Great, you can, yeah. So absolutely, right? So what I want to uh, portray there is that uh, if you want to do something, you got you you should uh, be dare to jump out, right? We, we we it's a famous saying, dare to jump out. Uh, so until you jump out, you're not gonna make major major things, major uh, achievements in your life. So it's a must. Right, being in 
the comfort zone, the comfortable zone where you are in already, nothing great will happen. So that's the key message there, right? So with that, let's move on. get the PowerPoint. Oh, sorry about it. Okay, so let's move on. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is something again, uh, very important for all of us. Uh, trust me, uh, sometimes uh, being great, trying to do great stuff is, is simpler than what we think of. But there, there, is, there is a very critical thing that has to happen, right? That is in your mind, that is changing your mind to a positive state. So if you, if you just have a look at this thought that I came up, right? What I'm saying is if you want to do great, the first thing that you have to do is change your attitude. So everything, pretty much everything great has started with a great attitude, greater thought, greater thinking. So no one in this uh, world, no one on this earth have done great without the wrong, at, with the wrong attitude. So you need to start thinking uh, as an undergraduate, as someone who is studying, wanting to be a, a great citizen, great Sri Lankan, great entrepreneur, great te technical uh, expert. Do I have the right attitude, right? When you have the attitude, right attitude, the next thing that you have to do is change your vocabulary. Yeah, that's because the words that you utter, the words that you speak, uh, uh, speak up will hugely influence your day, will hugely influence your uh, life. Therefore, you know, start with changing your attitude and then look at the words that you use, right? Are you using a lot of negative words? Are you surrounded by people who are just saying negative stuff, right? Then you've got to change that. You've got to ensure that your vocabulary becomes a very positive one, right? With a positive vocabulary, you can do much greater things because Every great thing that has happened in this world has happened with the right attitude and right set of words. All right. So this is this is this is uh, basically how it works. So uh, remember that, right? So these are some of the pointers that I want you to uh, work on. Now I want you to uh, listen to a quick story, right? Uh, so this story. Uh, is coming from Buddhist script, right? I learned this uh, story a few years ago. Uh, this is a great reminder for all of us. What you see is a picture of Lion King, the movie, but the story that I'm gonna tell is not from the Lion King, but it's about two lions. Once upon a time, there was two lions. One was a father, the other one was a lion cub. One fine day, the lion cub loses his dad, the big lion. So the lion, this, this uh, small lion cub, the small fellow does not know what to do in the big forest. He just run around everywhere and then being scared. One, one particular day, uh, a wolf approaches him, says, you can live with me. Not knowing what to do, this small lion thinks, well, I don't have anything to live with. Therefore, it's okay to live with this wolf. So the lion cub start living with the wolf, start his time with him. So gradually, the small lion just walks like a wolf, talks like a wolf, does everything just like a wolf because he lives with the wolf. So similarly, if you are surrounded with the wolves, people who are not lions, people who are not really great, the same thing might happen. So then what happens is, one fine day, another lion, big lion chases the wolf. As the big lion chases the wolf, 
this lion, small lion, is also started running. So the big lion, the chaser, thinks, what is going on? Why, why is this small lion is chasing, uh, running? And the big lion thinks there's something messy here. So he runs faster, catch the small lion, and then asks, what's wrong with you? Why do you run when I chase the wolf? Then the small lion says, I'm not a lion, I am a wolf. Dear sir, don't kill me. Then the big lion says, you're not a wolf, you are a lion. The small lion says, no sir, I'm a wolf. I'm not a lion, please don't kill me. The big lion thinks a strategy to change his mindset. Big lion says, I'm gonna take you to the highest rock in this forest. He takes the small lion who thinks he is a wolf to the, the biggest rock, the top of the, the rock, and says, you, you got to roar. If you do not roar, I'm gonna kill you. The, the small lion gets really scared and then starts roaring. The big lion says, one, two, three, you just roar. The small lion roars with the biggest voice. The entire forest gets shaken by that. And that's the moment the small lion who used to think that I'm a wolf realizes that he's not a wolf, he's a lion. Now, why I wanted to tell this particular story to all of you is that in every one of us, I can assure, you know, surely say that in every one of you, there is a lion. But the problem is, we have not realized that there is the lion in us. Now, the, this, the metaphor lion I, I use for the greatness, the great person that lives inside you, right? So being an undergraduate, coming a long way from your small days, doing your O-levels, doing your A-levels, you know, doing a lot of hard work even now, you definitely want to be a great person, great, great entrepreneur, great, technical expert, but the problem might be your attitude. You have not realized the lion who lives in you. Sometimes you don't believe that there is a lion in you. Surely there is one. So message is here. You got to figure out the potential that you have. You got to figure out the great person who is inside you. If you do not figure out that, uh, my friends, you are not gonna do any great. Now it's the same story with me, right? So now if you, if you get to know my childhood, you will never believe that I'm gonna do what I'm doing, right? Of course, this is not the end of my journey. This is halfway through. I'm just traveling my journey yet. But yet, you know, compared to what it was in my small days, I have come a long way, same way you have. What I'm saying is, from now, whatever it is, from now, you need to think what's your next 10 years, right? What is your line inside you? Figure that out. It can be a great entrepreneur. It can be a great technical expert. It can be a great businessman. It get, can be a great professor. You never know, right? All these great characters live inside you. And I have come across a lot of good personalities at your age. And I'm gonna invite a special guest to give this particular message further, right? That's my own daughter who is just 10 years old. So please come here, sit down, right? You'll be on the camera as you come. Now, why I want to do this, why I started uh, getting my daughter involved here is to fall. One, I wanted to prove that she can start her journey towards the greatness at a, such a small age. Second, why I bring her into your forum, acknowledging that you have come a long way than her. She has not even thought of university education. You have come a long way. But I want you to realize one message very clear. What is that message? The message that you really don't have to wait any further to become great. Start your journey towards being great. So 
get that get that at at the top of on top of your head get that as the key message that you have to remember day in day out because when you realize that when you know that you have no time to wait you really don't have to wait wait any further that's the starting point of your greatness i don't know what what all of you are trying to do i don't know what your big dreams are but i know for sure that every one of you want to be successful every one of you want to do much greater than what you do all of you want to build a big house want to buy a big car right very comfortable car want to live the life that you are dreaming of if you want to do that you got to start thinking what can i do being an undergraduate don't believe that you have to complete your graduation to start doing everything so that was that was pretty much my journey right so i i i did not know what to do when i was studying i did not know what to do 5 years back right i was pretty much doing my job that's it but now i'm telling you and i'm 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 kind of uh, trying to live what i'm talking about all right so with that let's invite little bahamsa my 10 year old daughter to do a very uh, basic uh, talk 5 minutes talk hope you will enjoy it uh, i assure that this is going to be fun filled uh, so there is a performance uh, towards the end of it so stay tuned try to grab the message right because uh, what what she's going to tell you might be the message that you really need so i'm going to jump in and you know uh, work with her on the same same speech right as we go on so dhamsa it's all yours hello everyone my name is dhamsa and it's a pleasure to be here The graveyard is the richest place on earth because it is here that you will find all the hopes and dreams that were never fulfilled, the books that were never written, the songs that were never sung, the inventions that were never shared, and the cures that were never discovered. all because someone was too afraid to take that first step keep with the problem or determine to carry out that dream do you want to end up your life with that same story when you are gone do you want others to find out that you had big dreams but never achieved no no not at all in your journey the first thing i want you to understand is it's now or never the most precious time to act on your goals is just now it's not the next week it's not the next month it's not the next year or it's not when you turn 30 40 50 or even when you retire you've got to act now right now this is the biggest reason why you may have slow growth i'm just 10 years and i started acting as i was born i mean i cried for what i wanted and i still cry isn't this telling you a great lesson Unless you want something desperately, you're not going to make it. You're going to give up easily. Tell yourself, "I am somehow going to make it," and you will make it for sure. All what you have to do is take one tiny step at a time. Don't see it. 
bad dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it. Every step I'm taking, every move I may feel lost with no direction. My faith is shaking, but I I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep my head held high. There's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's a climb. The struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking, sometimes might knock me down, but no, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that. I'm gonna remember most, yes. Just gotta keep going, and I, I gotta be strong. Just keep pushing on. Cause there's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about who's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. That's all, that's it, stop, stop, stop. All right, so let's give a round of applause for Little Dhamsa, everyone. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Right, so now, uh, one, what, what's the message so far here from the Dhamsa speech? She was talking about few things. What did you learn? Can you all type uh, what you what you learned from here? Uh, just type type them in the chat window. Let's see. Let the Hamza see what you think about your learning. So, what did you learn from the Hamza's speech? So everyone, okay. So do it now or never. Yeah. So it's now or never. All right. Don't wait, start now to make a change. Don't let your skills, skills bury with yourself. Yes, that's a good lesson. If you remember the first one, the first chord, uh, the graveyard is, is an absolutely great chord that you have to remember every day because every, every time you think of giving up your dreams, you, you, got to, you got to remind yourself. Great, great point there. Today is the day, yes. So great point, start thinking, what can I do today towards my dream? Like what little Dhamsa does, right? 
what she does see is something that connects to her dream, her, her future, right? It's not something really ad hoc. It's not something that's not disconnected, that's not connected to what she wants to become in 20 years time, right? 10 years time. So same way, definitely you have a lot of things that you can do. So you've got to figure it out. Yeah. One tiny step at a time. Yes. Okay. All right. So great stuff. Now I'm going to let the Hamsa talk about one more thing. That is uh, something uh, you know, that's said by Will Smith, right? Now, every one of you know Will Smith. Every one of you agree that Will Smith is a great actor, great human as well. He's doing a lot of great uh, courses, right? Now, he said something really, really interesting. Something really getting us out of our comfort zone. Uh, pretty much this is, this is the perfect execution framework. This is the perfect execution advice that you all can adapt. So let's listen to the Hamsa. The Hamsa, so what have you got to say about that? So what is the part? So just tell us. Will Smith said, if you want to be, build a big wall, you don't keep saying you're building a big wall. You are saying, I am laying this brick as perfectly as a brick could be laid. And you do that every single day. Sooner, you will have a big wall. All what you have to do is take one tiny step at a time and keep going until you reach your destiny. The most devastating thing that puts you down is your inner voice. Shut your inner voice. I can almost see it. That dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it. Never let your inner voice put you down. Don't let it stop you. Tell your inner voice. You shut up. It's not over until it's done. All right, so another round of uploads for her, everyone. So I'm sure some of you should be clapping uh, while muted. <laughs> right? Who did that? Anyone? Anyone did that? Who, who clapped while you're muted? Some of you. <laughs> That's all right, yeah? So. Again, two messages, two key messages. Now with that, we, we will uh, let the Hamza go. Thanks a lot, the Hamza. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. say bye to everyone and uh, Thank you. we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see them soon, right? Okay, so now from her last speech, there were two key messages. Number one, if you want to build a big wall, you really don't keep saying you're building a big wall, right? Rather than just keep telling everyone that you are building a big wall, you got all what you have to do is lay one brick at a time. Take one brick, lay it. Got it? So sooner you are gonna have the wall. So this, this is the same principle works for you. Now, how many of you, now can I just have a quick check? If you want to be an entrepreneur, can you, can you quickly uh, type yes now in the chat window? Just type yes if you want to be an entrepreneur. Yes. So I see a lot of people. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Yeah. Pretty much everyone. Okay. Now tell me who wants to be uh, going on the academic field. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not purely academic, right? You can be an, uh, technical, te be a technical person, plus you want to do what I'm doing, right? Speak up, uh, do lectures, uh, do motivational talks, uh, do tech talks, etc. right? So it's two things that I'm asking, right? If anyone wants to be a tech person plus a speaker, say yes now.
All right, few. Yeah, it's coming. All right, still coming. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who is saying that as well. So same way, right? Your your journey has to start now, my 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 friends, my brothers and sisters. Why I say that is, if the Hamsa can come and do a performance to a crowd like you who have come a long way, why not you? Why not you figure out the things that you can do? being an undergraduate, doing what you are doing, right? It's perfectly all right. People will want you as long as you can position yourself, as long as you have something that you can share, right? Initially, it's totally okay to struggle. Now, the Hamsa does not struggle a lot, but my small age is very different, right? I have failed miserably multiple times in trying to speak up. In, in a big stage, right? I had this uh, problem where I was shivering. I was shivering in the, the stage, on the stage. So I did not let that shut me up, right? I kept talking, I kept trying. So at one point I gained the confidence, right? So same way, all of you have a lot of things that can, that can you know, uh, who can do a lot of, lot of uh, great stuff. So figure that out. So the second message was your inner voice. So this is the major blocker for most of us. Now, the inner voice mostly says, just settle with what you have, right? More than it's just saying, hey, don't do anything. What it says is, what inner, your inner voice says is, hey guys, just do what you're comfortable of. Don't, don't worry too much of doing something that you're not used to that is challenging, that, is, that needs a lot of energy and time. Just do the things that others do. That's why 70%, 70 to 80% of undergraduates become, you know, becoming graduates end up just doing, doing a, you know, just one job. Sometimes, you know, if you look at their salary, if you, are, if you ask their salary, that's not enough, right? The question is uh, whether they put, a sufficient effort to come out of that, right? Now the university graduates passing out from the same university, the same batch, earns many different salary, salaries, uh, salaries, right? So you would be surprised to hear that. Let me give you some figures, right? You would be surprised to hear that some people will start somewhere at 35. I'm not talking about the internship, I'm talking about the real real uh, job positioning, right? So when you, when you graduate, if you are someone who wants to earn 35,000, that's not enough at all. That's not the right value for you, right? Please know that in your batch, out, out of 300 people, 200 people, there'll be 10 people who will learn around 125, 150,000 as the initial salary. So, what you need to plan is to get close to that. If, if you are not able to get there, that's okay. But you know, plan high, aim high. At least you fall somewhere close to that, right? So this is the same thing that I would tell my uh, own brother, my own daughter as well, right? Because it's all about positioning. It's all about knowing how the, how the, the market works, how the things work around you. It's not just learning the skills that you learn and that's assuming that people are going to give you the right amount of value. That's not going to happen. So you need to tell you in a voice that you want to do the great thing and then go for it, right? Don't settle at the average, average set of things that you want to do. I mean, of course, that might be your start, right? But from there, you need to figure out what, what are the great things that I can do, all right? So Yasas, I, I want uh, to run a quick... Uh, 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 what do you call a feedback session, right? Now again, uh, sh let's do this. Let's use the chat itself, right? Okay. So can you, can everyone just tell me uh, whether this is useful, right? First answer this question, right? Uh, how useful it is. Just tell me the most valuable learning that you have learned so far individually. So everyone, everyone could think of your best learning. So tell me 
your top learning, right? If you are to stop right now, you have one learning at least. So what is that learning? Can you type that here, everyone? So Yasas, you can start. <laughs> so Yasas, you can speak up also. Anyone who wants to speak up, please do so. I want this to be interactive, otherwise I feel like I'm just talking myself. Sorry? Sorry? Okay, yeah, sure. Yes, sir. Hello, yes, yes. You are muted? Is it? No, no, no. I'm hearing uh, there's a small uh, problem here. Uh, okay, okay. New participants can't join to the meeting. Uh, I'm looking to it. Could you uh, then, yeah, so, yeah, so you don't worry, don't I will worry, ask, I will ask the, the question from Alex. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. So anyone, anyone wants to speak up? Others, please type. Uh, what, what was your top learning so far? Can you type that? So I want this to be interactive, right? So otherwise I, I might just go on talking a lot, but nothing is learned. Okay. Azir Riazin says, be confident that you can do anything. Nothing is impossible if you keep trying it. Absolutely. Yeah? So that's a great learning, uh, Azir. Uh, so it's, 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 everything starts with your mindset, Azir, and everyone. Yeah? Uh, that's the same basis how my daughter has been able to come and sit here and do a talk, right? And she, she nailed it, right? So I know that she, she nailed it, right? So same way you all can do it. Why I could do what I do is due to the same reason. And then uh, use a PC, okay, that's not a name for sure, to be confidential and don't waste time and don't fear, yes, absolutely. Uh, the next thing is never give up, even you want to give up, yeah? So that's not you who wants to give up, that's your inner voice. You've got to shut your inner voice up, right? And say, hey, you shut up, I'm gonna move on. That's exactly what the Hamsa said. Then uh, Isuri Gunitalaka says, uh, if the Hamsa at the age of 10 can be fearless and go after her dreams, I can do that too. I love that. Thanks for bringing that up, Isuri. Uh, so that's exactly why I want her to come. It's twofold, as, as I said, right? Uh, so there's a clear message there. And, and for the Hamsa, she's just trying one, one more talk, right? And she, she has done the same talk in big audiences, big, big uh, stages, yeah? So you, you can definitely do it. So just think of what, what you can do. Then Ushan Sankapala says, get to know about your skills and start right now. Make your dream come true and give yourself value. Absolutely spot on. So I'm really glad that every one of you get the message that I want to convey, right? I know that when you get that, uh, my dear friends and brothers and sisters, I don't have to teach you a lot, right? That's enough. That pointer will energize you, give, show you the right direction and you know what to do. It's not a it's not matter of not knowing what you have to do. It's just a matter of figuring out the potential that you have in you, right? So that is where all these things that we brought up can help you. Even the story about the lion cub who got lost in the forest, right? If, if the, when the lion cub thinks that it's a wolf, it's not going to be a lion, for sure, right? But there's a lion inside that fellow, yeah? So then again, uh, you saw that there was a big lion who was helping the person to get out of that wolf mindset. So that was actually Buddha in a previous life, right? Similarly, you need to look for the right association. You need to look for the right friends. You need to look for the right people who can show you the way. Sometimes it's not possible for you to you know, figure that out yourself. Then there will be someone coming and telling you, hey, you are not deserving what you do. You are, you are deserving a much greater life. Yeah, so do that, okay? Uh, then Chalani, make your mindset positively and start your journey just now. Spot on. Uh, I love the way the Hamsa speaks. Everyone can build that kind of confidence. Just need to start working. Absolutely. So, Hiranta, you know, but just just figure out, uh, my friend. 
uh, all of you, all of you, right, uh, have a greater potential. Now, now, in your batch, you would have given a, you would have given a labor, right? Sometimes uh, some of you would have been categorized under the low performers. Some of you would have been just uh, tagged as uh, you know useless. Some of you would have been uh, profiled as uh, you know you know disruptors. You kind of distract and you know disturb everyone. Every one of you has a great line inside you. Just figure out that. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. The Hamsa speaks well and cute. Okay, <laughs> so that's 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 appreciated uh, your compliments learning is a solution to all problems absolutely yeah so it's not just the, the good it's a great point but the learning does not mean just learning the theory the concepts the subject matter that you are learning that's part of it right that's that's much beyond that yeah then uh, chalaka says take one tiny step at a time towards your goal so Spot on. I'm, I'm great. I'm, you know, uh, gladly uh, happy that everyone has got the message so far, right? That, that's a big win because helping you to realize that. I think you know it, but I think uh, what happened uh, in the uh, the last one hour helped you to realize it further, realize it more. Yeah. So with that, let's move on. So there's a few more to cover, right? So I'm gonna uh, go into the real core contents here. So we went through this. Okay, now, so I'm gonna talk about uh, two things, as I said, yeah, mainly the personal agility, but with that, I, I'm also going to touch on some of the things that you need to realize in your branding, the position. Branding, know that branding is a way uh, you feel others know what you are really about. Example, when you, when you heard of my name, what came to your mind? Yeah? If you, are, if you are okay to type, just type that as well. You can go through it. That's a great way of, uh, you know, interacting. Uh, if you can speak up, do speak up. Yeah, can I ask someone? Let's let's use this opportunity, right? Because you're gonna be on media, you're gonna be on YouTube. So anyone who wants to be a speaker, use this opportunity. So I'm asking you a question. So when you heard of me, when you saw me, when you knew that Niroshan Madampit is, is going to be your next speaker, what came to your mind? Can someone speak up? Anyone? Is it Lahiro? Uh, I thought that it would be a great, uh, it's going to be a great session. And uh, so the, uh, the advertisement, it means that our flyers that I thought, uh, uh, the, the, the first thing, the first thing that uh, come into mind is the our very motivational public speaker. Okay, right. Cool. So that you answered my uh, question uh, had in my mind as well. Thanks, thanks for that, Lairo. Yeah. So that's that's all about the personal branding, uh, my friends. Yeah. So personal branding is basically the feeling that others have when they hear about your name, when they see you, when they start interacting with you. Now, Lahiro, Lahiro, are you able to be on video? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for that, Lahiro. Appreciate it. Now, uh, so when you when you said you know you you knew that I'm uh, a motivational speaker, therefore the session. Now, that was the branding I I set myself before you saw me, right? Because probably this is the first time you are seeing me. Is that the case, or you saw me earlier? Uh, no, I've seen uh, you earlier in the hour rush. Uh, no, uh, there was a session in our university. Uh, ah, right. You were there. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Gapstars. Were Gap there stars. Were All right. There. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. That's good. Uh, yeah, so my question is now, my the branding is all about others to realize this, right? 
Now, Lahiru knew, uh, uh, had a very positive image about me, right? Lahiru also had seen me uh, in a talk previously. Now, Lahiru sees me again. Now, I, I have an opportunity to enhance my image or jeopardize it, right? So if I mess it up here, Lahiru is going to start thinking, okay, I was wrong. My perception was wrong. Then what I'm doing is I'm going to change my branding perspective to a negative one from a positive one. Got it? So think of it, think of it this way, right? Now, even now, what happens with Lahiru here is Lahiru basically building up your own branding here, being the first person to speak up. It's a big thing, Lahiru. It's definitely, definitely a big thing, Lahiru, right? Uh, so being great is, is also starting with one, one little activity. That is what you simply do, showing up. You can't be great if you don't show up, right? Why you got to know about the Hamza is because the Hamza showed up. Why, you, why I, I, I have a very positive impression about Lahiru is simply because Lahiru showed up. So if you want to do great, if you want to set, set your personal branding at a greater level, you've got to show up at every appropriate opportunity. You got to grab the opportunities then wait for them, yeah? So remember that, yeah? So I'm gonna talk about uh, these aspects, right? Uh, thanks, Sahiru, so you can relax now, right? Okay, so here's a magical formula, guys. So I want you to uh, note this down. So, whenever I talk about branding, I definitely talk about this. I actually started co-authoring a book on personal branding. Uh, keep in touch. I'm gonna I'm gonna let let you kind of enjoy it uh, most probably free. Uh, but it's co-authored, so I'm kind of thinking, you know, what's the benefit that I'm gonna give you? However, at the end of the session, I'm gonna give you a little activity where you can earn five copies of the book that I'm co-authoring. It's a 61 page jam packed uh, set of strategies, a, a brand personal branding strategies that will definitely change your game, right? So stay tuned, just note down this formula for the moment. So for me, personal branding is setting credibility. It's all about credibility, yeah? So if you are able to set credibility uh, yourself, you are basically working on your branding. Yeah, so think, think what happens when the Hamza did that little speech, five minute speech, right? That five minute is enough to win your heart, win your trust, win your confidence for her, yeah? And you start thinking more than me, right? She, she outstands because being a 10 year old kid, if she can do this, your, your thinking is why can't I do that? So you have started trusting her credibility, therefore you want to, you want to kind of uh, you know, work with her, yeah? The next thing is, you, now the Hamsa established the credibility, same way I do have to establish my credibility, the moment I start interacting with you, moment I switch on my camera, moment I start speaking, same way Lahiru has to do that, right? So with that credibility, what, what does it give you further power? So when someone, of, uh, one of you think that the Hamza is doing great. She's a great speaker. She's a great performer. She is getting some power to work with you. So you basically allow her to you know, work with you. Same way, uh, when, when I establish credibility as a speaker, you reached out to me, and then asked me to work with you. That's basically the power part. This is not the, the typical political power. This is not just one way, you know, commanding power. This is the power that I'm talking about synergizing, collaborating. So I have the power to work with you. When I have the power to work with you, when you trust that I have that authority, then I have access to you. So how many people so far here? How many people here? So more than... It's actually 46. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. The, the problem is newcomers, they uh, can't participate in this uh, session. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. So 
That, that's all right. The number doesn't matter actually, right? Uh, so this is good enough number. So I have access to all of you. Yeah, so although we ac ex uh, accept, uh, basically expected big number than that, uh, I mean, this is what it is, that's all right. So what I'm saying is, right, when I have the power uh, in terms of my branding, my competencies, my abilities, I have access to you. When I have access, that's the only way I can influence you. That, that's simply like, you know, if I don't talk to you, I have no way of influencing you. And everything that you do in your life boils down to the influencing ability. So it's all about influencing. What does that mean? Whether it's your family, whether it's your lecturer, whether it's your friend, whether it's your boss, whether it's a company uh, that you are trying to work with, you got to influence each and every one of them, right? Nothing happens without influencing. If, if anything happens without influencing, that's not gonna be sustainable. That's like commanding. You command someone to do something, right? You can get the work done, but that's not the, the best way to get the work done. So getting anything done, you got to influence people around you. So your branding works that way. Your branding helps for you to get there. Yeah, does that make sense, everyone? Yeah, okay, so let's move on. So we have 45 minutes. Now, I want you to take a screenshot of this, everyone. Take a screenshot. So this is from my uh, book, Personal Branding. The book is themed, uh, Double Your Value Through Personal Branding. It's gonna be launched in June on Amazon. Uh, it's going to be priced around uh, $14, but you know, for the undergraduates, I'm thinking of giving it free. So stay in touch. I'm going to tell you how to, how to, how to get that, how to, uh, you know, win a free uh, five books of uh, five copies of this book uh, at the end of the session. So stay tuned. Uh, so share that with your friends as well. Yeah. So this is how your branding works. So everything starts at, your mindset. That is basically the story that we discussed, right? Remember the lion cub started thinking that he's a wolf. So he ended, ended up becoming a wolf. He just, you know, although his out appearance looks like exactly like a lion, but the wolf, he, he was having a wolf mindset. Therefore he just acted and did everything like a wolf, right? Same way you might have a great person, great entrepreneur, great technical expert in you but if you start thinking negatively if you start thinking you can't be that person uh, you're not going to be that yeah so your branding start with your mindset so it's important that you set up you have the right mindset yeah be clear clarity is key when you say mindset you need to absolutely be clear on what type of person are you what do you want to be right, 10 years ahead. So if you don't have that clarity, what you do today is not really, really strategic. You might do a lot of things, being confused, right? So you don't have to do all of it if you really have clear clarity. If you know that this is my 10 years goal, this is my 10 years vision, then just do what really need, needs to get there, yeah? The second thing is setting a basic brand. What is that? Now, the basic brand, you need to work on two things. Now, this is a big, big thing for all of you. All of you are on social media, right? You got to work on social media for sure. I don't recommend that you just omit it, you skip it. So if you think that, you know, uh, social media is not really the thing to work on, I, I disagree. It's, it's like a knife, I agree. It has a cutting edge, but that's a great tool for you to grow, yeah? So all the, all the coaching deals, all the training deals, uh, all, you know, most of the job offers that I get are coming from social media, yeah? Same way, you know, the entrepreneurs, I know a lot of entrepreneurs depend on, highly depend on LinkedIn, sometimes uh, Facebook, Instagram as well, right? So. In terms of setting up your basic brand, there are two aspects that you have to look at. Number one, your online presence. 
that's what, you know your starting point is cleansing your social media when i say cleansing you got to remove all your silly photos videos comments reactions yeah if you have commented on a political post such a way it offend someone get that out do not keep it in social media if you have had a big fight with one of your friends and you have been emotional get that out if you have showed up pictures and videos where you are drunk and you know uh, laying on the floor get them out for sure yeah so anything that's harming the person you want to be in 10 years you got to clean your social media that way what i say is this right i want my daughter to look at my social media when she is grown up and be proud of it yeah so that's the guideline that's the key line that you have to remember so social media is an opportunity for you to profile you know set your profile effectively it's not a tool where you mess up right so particularly in our culture 90% of the undergraduates mess it up 90% of professionals mess it up yeah so you need to you need to be clear so for that you have to be clear here right mindset having having clear on your goal then then knowing what exactly you have to do the next thing is the the offline yeah there are a lot of things that you have to do but you know in in this talk i'm just going to limit it to a high level pointer you need to start thinking what to do uh, if you get get to read my book then all the the strategies are there from start to end uh, you can build the perfect brand that you want right within about year two years time but so far at this point just consider this as a pointer right you have to cleanse your social media you have to optimize your profile second thing is offline what what do i mean by offline now when i speak to some of you for example even lahiru a uh, few minutes ago uh, yasas right so they all portray a great image and i'm sure most of you can do the same most of you can have a personality that supports your branding yeah so when people talk to you talk such a way you impress them not a way they start thinking okay this guy would have spoken a bit you know better right your english should have been better you were you were you know dress dress code should have been better all that have to be taken care of so every discussion every person you meet is really important yeah so all of them will 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 can become a support for your branding at one point of time sometimes they end up being a client sometimes they uh, end up being one of your you know bosses who, who knows right so maintain that the next layer right so this is called onion right so like an like in an onion you see different layers the third layer is building credibility now if you have the basic setup that's the only moment you can think of credibility that's like you want to you want to be a speaker right example let's say take dahamsa right dahamsa want to be a singer and a speaker she has i have i and her you know dahamsa have worked together in order to set up the basic brand she has a basic cover now she can go and start building the credibility whenever she speaks up she wants to build the credibility around what she does same way you can do the same right now when you start establishing the credibility you start building an audience around you there will be people watching you there will be people following you some of you right that's why some of you would would keep an eye on uh, my my social media right some of you would be very keen in uh, looking at some of the contents i share some of the contents shared by people you really like and love yeah so that's the audience so the audience is the people who are surrounding yourself wanting you to share some uh, expertise knowledge the last layer is the opportunities so your followers your community of followers will have all of your prospects there can be the business investors there can be uh, people who are trying to work with you 
There can be uh, people who will become shareholders. There can be people who are going to offer you a job. All these people are in your community. Now, if you look at this actually, right? Even Yasas, he's a, been a kind of a close colleague of mine. He's been following me and he knows that I'm working on a lot of things. And, you know, he becomes the person who invites me to this particular talk. Yeah. And then, you know, it goes to the, the lecture panel, lecture panel approves it, and there I come and speak to you. Same way, when you start building your uh, audience, in that audience, your prospects are there. Now you need to start thinking, okay, what can I do with these prospects? What can I do with these followers? Got it? So this is, this is the ultimate way it works. Uh, so I have not seen this, this concept, uh, you know, uh, put out by anyone else in the world so far. So I'm introducing my own uh, concept uh, framework to build up your personal branding. So this works, this is not just personal branding, this works for, uh, you know, personal excellence, right? If someone wants to build personal excellence, this is the exact way it works. If you want to uh, build up your circle of influence, uh, people around you and then create opportunities, this is what works, yeah? Okay, so now little activity, quick one. It's gonna take about uh, five minutes. I'm gonna do a time box activity, everyone. So get ready with the paper. If you are not, if you are not having a paper, grab just one A4 paper. Uh, even bigger one is okay, right? A4 is perfectly all right. I'm gonna ask you to do one little few activities actually. Get few papers. I want, yeah. So I'm gonna time box this so that we manage the timing. Does everyone know what a time box is? Time box is one, one uh, strategy that I'm gonna talk to you soon uh, in this session, right? But let's do one activity here. Okay, so if you are ready, let's do this. Now think about you, think about yourself. Your name comes at the uh, in, in middle of your paper. Right. If it's a for a for paper, your name can be written inside a circle. And this tool is called personal maps. You can see here. So this is this is an uh, agile tool. This is a tool that we use to uh, improve collaboration between team members in organizations. This is something that I use in coaching exercises. Right. So I want you to put your name in uh, in middle, okay? Then start writing everything that matters to you. Yeah. So example, we we uh, the example we have considered here is so same. Likes education, likes working. She has hobbies, family, friends, values, goals. So look at the high level things that really matters to you. Yeah, so it can be anything. It can be anything that you really value. Put them, put them this way. Uh, try to draw, draw this thing quickly. So we are gonna anyway end up this in five minutes. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna let you do that. Shut up for some time, right? So at the end of another four and a half minutes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah. So let do this. And um, I probably ask some of you to discuss this. Uh, so get ready to share what you put down. Okay, so any questions, anyone, any questions, you can type your question in the chat or you can speak up.
once you are done, everyone, once you are done, I'm putting a link here. Take a photo of your personal map and upload it, it, it to the link that I provided. So it's a canvas where you can, you have, you can uh, upload your images. So I'll show you how it works. So we have just one minute, maybe, right? One more minute. If you look at here, So you, you see a uh, few buttons here. You can click this image and upload any image, right? So take a screen, uh, take a, a, cam a photo using your camera, just upload it to this. Anyone done? Anyone been able to complete it? Have you done your personal map? Any volunteers? Okay, so let's uh, move on since we have limited time. Uh, so can, can I have one volunteer just to have a discussion about your personal map? Any volunteers? Another opportunity for someone. Can I pick someone? Yes, us. can I do that? <laughs> so, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll make it a volunteering effort. Right. So any volunteers? Any volunteers? Speaker? You can volunteer. Can volunteer. No volunteer. Let me run. Let me run. So I'll, 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 I'll we'll pick up someone. Uh, Tilina, you are there. Hello, Tilina. Yeah, sure, I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> Get onto your video, my friend, and then okay. I'll talk about it. Uh, You're not able to. Can you see me? Sorry? Can you see me now? Uh, yes, you know. Hold on, where are you? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, we can see you. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, okay Tilina, okay, so, uh, 
uh, were you able to upload it to the linux no i was i was not able to upload it right uh, still i can discuss it with you perfect perfect so what are you uh, what are the things that matter uh, to you but uh, actually i have a little suggestion yeah uh, i think it's better if you can shift the chance to a student as i'm not being a student <laughs> 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 okay yeah okay that that's a good suggestion right so i'll pick up yeah. uh, thanks for that uh, tidida okay. uh, you are generous yeah so uh, so i'm going to pick up this uh, let me share the screen someone has posted it okay so who did this i can't read the name though okay so that's not on lahiru <laughs> yeah so uh, thanks lahiru so i mean it has to be uh, more than this i right? just i mean three things can be the, the high level things that you really like uh, what matters to you but then you have to go deeper right start thinking what what whatever things that matter to you now if you ask me right uh, you know being happy your yeah, family education uh, empowerment all all these things have to come in right then personal brand agile uh, excellence all, all that will come in then i go deeper into each and every aspect yeah so uh, and in one from usham sorry Uh, handed in one from Ushan Malli. Ushan, Ushan. Okay, Ushan, you are there. Yes, I am. Okay, so just Ushan, quickly uh, talk about uh, things that you thought really matters to you. Well, basically, I thought of uh, my education and family goals, uh, hobbies, and value. I expect. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, uh, you, I mean, you. probably you know had had have an idea even before doing this you have had a you know very generic idea but the thing is when you start thinking what really matters to me you start thinking deep right and you put a, you know very good effort to figure out what really you are all about right and if you yeah. do this with uh, some of your friends actually you will get to know a lot of things that you don't know about them same way you yourself you get to know a lot of things that you didn't know right or didn't figure out very clearly so it's important so my suggestion is everyone uh, should be doing this exercise right everyone who wants to do uh, build a personal brand do great in your career should start there yeah so with that let let me uh, let me quickly uh, take you through uh, the slide deck right now here's the thing most of us struggle in what we do due to the poor strategy so as as my colleagues one thing that i can ask from you all of you is you got to have a lot of clarity clarity around your execution framework how do you operate as an individual is the is the question i'm asking right if you are a messy person not structured you don't know what you have to do today then you're not going to be great that's the ultimate truth if you are someone who has clear vision right you know what person you are uh, representing what's the the value what are, what are the set of values that you represent what are the competencies that you want to gain what do you want to become in another 5 uh, 10 years high level picture but some clarity that's only when you can start a great journey right so the next thing that you have to do is adopt a good execution model now i think most of you would have studied this uh, model this is a management model called pdca pdca stands for four things plan do check act right so this is this is a great execution framework for all of you to operate now my recommendation is very clear right all what you have to do is you have to decide a time box 
nothing happens effectively if you don't have decided a time box so the first thing that you have to decide is put a time box example you're going to decide uh, your time box is next 3 months right so you are putting a limit say hey i'm going to focus on everything that i have to focus within the next 3 months right then i mean you put, just put a time box and then start planning so the, your planning would say you have to ask yourself what can i get done within the next three months that's your time box if it's if your time box is one week then you're asking yourself what can i plan for the next week if it's your day then you're asking what can i plan for the day right so whatever it is it always starts with the time box yeah you put a restriction you put a uh, deadline saying by this time i have to get something done and that is what it is so you plan for that so you start planning the uh, at the end of the planning you can work on it now example right i'm 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 circling back to the hamsa's case uh, so 2 years ago when she she was 8 years old we we put a linkedin post and a facebook post and said hey we are going to uh, do keynote speaking together trust me one year no one noticed it no one spoke to us right and we did not have any keynotes even myself you know i did not have a lot of keynotes uh, pure keynotes but we planned so that was our planning that is that is where we our planning started now what we look at now is we start thinking what can we do in the next 3 months then i myself uh, the hamza and my wife her mother we we sat sit together and start thinking okay what can we do in terms of studies in terms of uh, music in terms of speaking we need to start planning otherwise nothing is going to happen right so we come up with a plan for the 3 months then uh, go further you know plan for the month week so i'm going to take you through that but starting point is planning then start working on it now why she came here is part of the planning right we we thought okay we are going to do few keynotes within the next month next 3 months so today is one right despite the challenging situation the crisis still we managed that so act on your goals then check now after this actually we we heard a lot of good feedback right but also there will be a lot of learning for us even myself there will be a lot of learning yeah overall it might be really good but you know still i have certain learning so i do something and check when i check i find out the lessons then act on these lessons here right you act on your lessons learned and when you figure out your lessons you start acting on them you incorporate these things into your planning so when we plan for the next keynote we will make use of some of these learnings the most important learnings got it so remember this this is absolutely a great framework that you all have to get into right uh, so it's called pdca in agile we call it uh, in different three different terms if you have heard we have three terms called uh, inspect uh, transparency inspection and adoption yeah transparency is basically planning and doing the things check and act is basically inspection inspecting equals checking and acting is the adoption you adopt to the inspected results actions yeah okay so moving on so here is the here is the the, the most important thing uh, my dear friends <laughs> yeah so when i say friends it's sons and daughters as said well, right so so i i really hope this these things are really valuable for you i really hope that this is going to change most of your life uh, actually everyone if if everyone is ready to adapt what what you learn here definitely it's going to do a lot of lot of change changes in your life right so start time boxing what is a time box time box is just a time period where you are trying to get something done yeah this helps you to focus okay so the next thing is the prioritization now if you are 
if you feel like you are doing great if you feel like you are doing absolutely fantastic in your studies and career you are definitely someone who is prioritizing who has been able to prioritize yeah what does the prioritization really means what does it mean you know what, what do you mean by prioritization you pick up the things that are really needed that's it you don't pick up everything yeah example if your habit is to do everything that comes your way you are not prioritizing if you are not doing anything well, that is also not prioritizing right so trying to do everything is not also prioritizing remember that so you don't have to do everything you can't you sh shouldn't be trying to do everything that comes your way so you need to clearly decide in next one hour what do i prioritize in next next one week what do i have to prioritize in the next three months what is my priority and i'll tell you an example right now while i'm trying to do a lot of things this comes a game changer for me without proper prioritization it's impossible for me to do a lot of things right you end up just doing one thing you want to do a lot of other things but they are they are stacked up right you start always working on the urgent stuff now if you let that happen there will be enough urgent priorities enough urgent tasks that you can work on so you defer you delay everything else that is important to you example if you want to write a book you might delay it forever working on the the most immediate urgent tasks it's not going to work right so this this is something that you have to remember now the next thing that works together with prioritization is differing commitments anyone who has heard of it any thoughts what is differing commitments it's basically delaying something until it's really really important you don't do everything that comes your way and if you do that uh, way if you work that's uh, that way you're not going to be an effective person yeah so you have you read uh, if you can read read this book have you read uh, seven habits of effective people from uh, uh, stephen covey one of his seven habits one of the seven habits is first thing first this is exactly that i am talking about right prioritization is all about working on the first thing first if there is one thing that you must do you just do it yeah so everything else should be deferred and when you are deferring when you are delaying the things remember this no plot this down not this down there is one magical concept that you have to work on that is called waiting until the last responsible moment waiting until the last responsible moment so as long as you don't wait beyond the last responsible moment you are safe enough but that's a tricky thing right you need to be carefully handled you shouldn't let anything wait further if you wait further you are compromising yourself you are compromising the quality you are compromising something don't let that happen but you can wait until that moment last responsible moment right now the last tip that i want to share before i show you a show you a greater kanban board that you can adapt yourself the last principle that i want you to remember is this limit your backlog what is a backlog backlog is simply the list of tasks list of things that you want to do right in a given time box or even within the lifetime you can have 100000 of things that you have to do in your lifetime that's your backlog if you think of the next week things that you are trying to get done within the next week is your backlog right so there's this cons this one concept that can greatly help you <coughs> that is limiting your backlog that mean that means within two day i'm not trying to do everything that that comes my way 
I pay a lot of attention to filter out the most important priorities and work on them. So that's called limiting the backlog. So this will reduce a lot of noise. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of lot of stories that I could share personally, but you know, the time is not enough, right? So. Uh, being a being an undergraduate, if you want to set up your entrepreneur uh, business, if you want to set up your website, if you want to start singing, if you want to start speaking up, if you want to develop your personal brand, all those can be your priorities. But one thing at a time, or few things at a time. Don't try to do everything in one given day. That's impossible. Break them down into different time slots. Right. Work on the most important priority that you think will give you the best value, right? I, I think, you know, being undergraduates, your first priority is to, you know, uh, pass, go through that and, you know, complete your graduation. There's no doubt. But at the same time, focus on everything else that you can do. That's gonna help, yeah? So with that, let's move on. Uh, so can you note this down? So, so this is where you can earn, you can win uh, the book that I'm authoring with one of the Australian uh, colleagues of mine. So I haven't, we haven't met each other. We have just met through the social media, through the branding. So we saw that we have the passion towards the same things we started co-authoring. So I'm going to give away the book called Double Your Value Through Personal Branding. Unfortunately, this will be just open for undergraduates, uh, free, right? Others will, will be notified with certain discounts. Uh, so it's going to be on Amazon in June, uh, before end of June. And it's gonna be priced at 14.99 uh, American dollars. Yeah, it's, it's somewhat price. So it's gonna be offered free, five copies of that book. So you need to get the, uh, do this because why I ask you to do this is, uh, it's, it's a win-win, right? It's not just sake of subscribing to my channel first case. So when you subscribe, you, you kind of open up another opportunity to learn a lot of things that I post daily basis, weekly basis. So I want you to do these three things. Number one, uh, do subscribe to my channel, Niroshan Madam Pitige, search for my name on YouTube, you subscribe, right? So when you subscribe, please ensure that you watch at least a few minutes of video, otherwise it's not considered a valid, valid subscription. The second thing is summarize your learning, right? Summarize your learning from today's session in point form. Yeah. So this, this allows you to go through what you hear, heard from me and the Hamsa. There were a lot of things, a lot of pointers. I want you to summarize, come up with the best summary possible. Post that on LinkedIn and Facebook. If you're not on LinkedIn that itself demand you to be on that platform. Uh, that's a must have for my uh, friends, all right? You've got to be on LinkedIn, there's no excuse for that because that's the only way you can build up your, build up your credibility. That's the way you can make yourself visible to the, the world, right? That you need to get to know. So hopefully all of you are already on LinkedIn. So do post your summary on LinkedIn, put the hashtag, Agile Nero. That is just uh, for me to be notified and it will come to my uh, hashtag feed, Agile Nero. Same thing on Facebook. Do the same summation. Post that on Facebook with the hashtag. So you can tag your university uh, so that, you know, this, this is kind of giving an opportunity uh, for the, the community, the student council to be visible as well. You, uh, yes, has, you know, guide, guide the, the colleagues with the appropriate hashtag, right? Uh, and also you can tag the university page, perfectly all right. And then uh, who win the, the book, the five books is the five posts with the top most reactions. Yeah, uh, so I, I don't mind if you do campaign on that, asking your friends to do it, uh, or you, you know, it's just natural uh, reactions, that's all right. Uh, part of it is you also start building your branding. You also get to know how, how it works. Yeah. Uh, hopefully this is clear. So do that. 
and it's going to really help you. Uh, any questions of, uh, before I just spend about another 10 minutes? Any questions that, that you have so far for me to answer? If you do so, put, or type them in the chat. If you can type them in the chat, I'll have a look. Yes, as, uh, is it okay if we extend it by 10 minutes? Quiet. Yeah. Okay. So it's so I'm gonna I'm gonna time box it to ten minutes, no more than ten minutes. I switched on the, the stopwatch, right? Uh, so so yes, yeah, just let's follow up. Uh, you you can you can guide the colleagues. You can do a post, uh, you know, asking the same thing uh, after the session as well, right? Uh, also, I'll be thinking of uh, free free giveaways uh, of the same book for uh, you know other other undergraduates as well. But at the moment, it's not decided, right? Definitely, it's going to be a much less price for uh, undergraduates because I, I don't really think uh, you need to pay the same amount, right? Uh, so in the meantime, do let's do this. So five books are books are offered free. Okay, so. So I spoke about the time boxes, remember? Now, this is, this is the Hamsa's Kanban, right? This is how the Hamsa, I, I advise her to work. Uh, she's, she's pretty much okay on it. It's time to time, you know, I have to remind, but you know, it will become a habit soon. Uh, so how does it work? I suggest every one of you get this done in your room, yeah? in your study area, in your office room. If you do not have a separate area, I also suggest to get something done. It can be your room. It doesn't have to be a very fancy space, right? But there has to be a dedicated space for you where you are free to work on your own, own uh, activities, right? So these are the time boxes. Before the time boxes, one thing you see here Let me get the annotation. Oops, okay. Yeah, so if you look at this, right, goals, that is coming from what we fi tried figuring out, yeah? Uh, so there are there are quite a few steps that you have to do before you end up here, but just start thinking what really matters to you. Put them here. So they become your goals. Example, if you have a goal, right? When, you see, when I say goal, don't think 10 years, think one year. Think about the next 12 months, start asking yourself, what are my one year goals? It doesn't have to be 31st of December for you to start planning your goals, right? Start now, next 12 months, starting today. Right. Start asking yourself, what are the, the things that really matter to me? They become your goals, but try to be specific. Right. When I say specific, just saying I want to be a speaker will not do anything. So you need to be a bit more specific. When I say I want to be a speaker, define it and refine it. You might say uh, I want to be a technical speaker uh, doing uh, technical speeches in my university uh, community. Uh, I want to go beyond the, the university community and do few speeches in meetups. Be specific like that, right? So we, these are called key results. So when you think of a goal, think of the key results that you want to achieve. Like what the Hamza would have said, right? I have asked her to think of speaking as one goal. And I also has asked her to uh, put down some of the key results. Then she, you know, we agreed. She's gonna do three keynotes in the next three months. One is already done. Another two keynotes to be done. If she does it, we make a significant growth there. So for each goal, figure that out. Yeah. So objectives and the key results. Objectives, key results. Then you have the next column, next three months. Yeah. These are the time boxes. Let me take this here. Okay. 
time boxes, three months, this month, this week, today, and WIP. What is WIP? Work in progress. Work in progress is what I currently work on. That means at the moment I can do only one thing, right? That is speaking to you during this session. Yeah, but today I will have a lot of other things that I have to do. Trust me, there are quite a lot I have to get done. And, and the other tip that I want to share you uh, is that don't believe that your day ends at seven o'clock or nine o'clock even, right? Until you become what you want to become, I suggest you are waken up. Will Smith says he works while others are sleeping. Yeah? He works while others are dreaming. The execution is key. You got to work on everything that, that you want to get done. And, and your day will end up much later than nine o'clock in the night. Yeah, so trust me, because you know, for that, everything that we spoke about is really important. First thing is energy level. If you do not have the right energy level, you're not gonna do that. So day in, day out, day by day, you have to feed energy, a lot of energy in you, right? Uh, so I, I do a lot of religious uh, kind of meditation, chanting, spirit chanting together with my family and that just gives the energy that I need. So you need to find out your own way, right? Uh, coming from your religious background, if you come from a different religion, that's fine. But you know, you probably have certain things that you can do coming from your religious background. So find that out. What energizes you, work on them. Because with that energy, you can, you can spend a few more hours. So I still, you know, my, my latest, the earliest time that I go to bed is 12 o'clock, right? 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, that's because I, I get done a lot of things after my work, after office hours. That's, that's the magic, right? So with that, let's move on. Then finally done. Now here, do you see this? If you look at, uh, if you look at uh, what do you call, uh, let me draw this, okay. This area, here, can you see, oh, sorry. So, let me, I messed it up, swim lanes. I want to show the swim lanes. So this is called swim lanes, uh, the ROS. So what it does, for each and every goal that you have, have a separate row. That means uh, if you are a, if you want to be an entrepreneur, be an entrepreneur. Have a separate row for that. Don't mix mix the priorities up. Right. Everything on entrepreneurship come in this swim lane. It's a swim lane because this is like a lane that the swimmers will follow. Right. When when you swim in a swimming pool, you have swim lanes. So it's something like that. So everything in one goal uh, will come there. All the priorities. Right. Next thing, then start thinking of what matters to you. We discussed that. So what do you do here? Yeah, so if you want to try this out offline, pick one area. Yeah, so I suggest you to work on one goal, one thing that matters to you. Then write down your goal for the next 12 months here, right? Once you are done with that, Let's say I want to be an entrepreneur in the next 12 months is my goal, right? The next thing, now you ask, start asking yourself, for me to become, become an entrepreneur in the next 12 months, what can I do in the next three months? Put all the priorities that you think relevant here. Use sticky notes, got it? So you can use sticky notes and do that. Uh, that will really uh, allow you to figure out the things that you have to do uh, becoming an entrepreneur, right? So I, I saw half the crowd said, more than half the crowd said, you guys want to be entrepreneurs, oh great. But let's get started, yeah? Uh, maybe a few things that you want to do, right? So setting up your website, uh, start branding yourself, uh, sharing some valid contents, you know, in the social media, start building that visibility right and also planning your entrepreneur journey okay so the next one 
Then now at the end of uh, this exercise, you know the three months goals. Now you start asking, what can I do in the next one month? So you look at the goals that you have put down, break them down. Now you're gonna break your bigger three months goals into one month goals. Like what you can say is a, uh, in this month, I'm just gonna focus on uh, social media branding, right? Social media optimization, you're gonna get all the, the messy contents out, uh, you're gonna optimize your profiles, you're gonna you know, clean up everything, all that, you know, you plan for that. Then the next thing is this week. Now you have a three month plan, you have one month plan, now we start thinking, what can I do in this week? Yeah, so this is really practical uh, guys. Yeah, so this is exactly what I do. Now I start asking myself, what can I do in this week? You will see that few things, it's not gonna be a major, major action, but something connected to your one month goal, three months goal, three, uh, one year goal, yeah? So figure them out. Now, today, so every day as you get up, ask yourself, what do I have to do today? Plan it, yeah? So things can change, right? Thing can, things can be adjusted, but you've got to have a plan. Every great person uh, starting from, uh, you know, any local, local hero that you have seen, right? Uh, you, know, you, know, you, you know, people like, uh, you know, uh, what are the names? Uh, let's say even the presidents, you know, uh, if you look at any great singer, right? Uh, people like Mahela, Sangakkar, uh, Dananjay Hetiaraj, one of our you know great great speakers. All these guys have a plan for the day. They don't just wake up, start wondering what do I have to do today. I am when they get up, they know what exactly they have to do. So you got to get to that habit loop, right? So plan your day. Put your uh, things on sticky note. Plan your day. Then the next thing is so it's, it's the end. So you may have few things to be done on certain goals, not every goal. As you start working on something, for example, uh, when I start writing the book, when I start writing a, a blog, I just take that task and put that into WIP. WIP stands for work in progress, got it? That makes my mind clear. It's, that's the only thing that it does, right? It gives me the clarity uh, that my brain needs to have. Uh, otherwise, you know, I might just go to social media here and there and try to get distracted myself. My blog is not written properly, all that can happen. Yeah. As soon as you are fully done, when you say done, you need to ensure that, that you are fully done, not half done. Yeah. So if you are not fully done, don't move anything to done state. Keep, you know, move them back to the, the floor. So, that's all I can offer. So again, I have exceeded the 10 minutes time box. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's okay as long as you, you are okay. Uh, so this is all I can offer. Uh, finally, again, I want to do a quick checkout. Uh, while anyone is free to speak up and just tell me one thing that really you love during the entire session. Now it's a lot of things, right? So just tell me one thing that you really loved about the session that you're going to take away and adapt it starting now. Yeah, uh, you can speak up. Also put your comments in the uh, chat window. That's all I can uh, offer for the day. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. So you can subscribe to my channel, everyone. Although you don't, even though you don't uh, participate the contest, that's fine. Subscribe. I'm gonna put a lot of valuable contents like this, right? Uh, so with that, let's do the checkout. So any volunteers, anyone who wants to share your thoughts? Maybe I'll ask Yasas as the organizing uh, committee. So you, you, can, you can talk about your genuine thoughts, Yasas. Don't worry, right? Although it's, it's fine. <laughs> so first of all, I must say thank you uh, by sacrificing your valuable time for us. Uh, and the most valuable thing I took from this uh, session is uh, time boxing. 
because that's the thing uh, all most of us are missing out so uh, i think that's the thing we should uh, no actually watch session is important uh, but that time boxing thing is really important to our career and uh, to reach our future goals easily so um, that's my yeah i totally agree asas i totally agree so uh, that's why uh, you know even before we talk about the kanban we spoke a lot about time boxing right yeah great practice it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic uh, concept that every one of us have to adopt right uh, it's not just agile it's 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 generic yeah so thanks for your thoughts anyone else uh, who wants to share your thoughts what was the best thing that you learned is the question piranta can i ask you to share some thoughts piranta peris <laughs> You are either muted or you are you don't hear me. Anyone else? Few more. Because I mean, when you share this, actually, right? This can ignite someone else's learning as well. That's the purpose of it, right? So it's a check out just to ensure that I have done justice to your time, two two hours and uh, fifteen minutes. Yeah. Um, I think so. yeah. Uh, uh, I just have to say that uh, I have been following you for now for real long time. I okay. follow you on uh, Instagram, uh, not not the Instagram, but LinkedIn. So okay. I have seen your the speeches you have done, the how 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 big it was like like uh, and also uh, as I also told that you are really good at that. So I think uh, we are really uh, really to appreciate your uh, participating and joining with us to uh, give you uh, spend your valuable time with us. And uh, I think uh, uh, I thought I really thought you are uh, re, uh, in uh, uh, more into agile. So uh, when it come to agile, uh, we uh, as undergraduate we thought like uh, okay, agile is something like a methodology when when it comes to doing projects uh, and sort of things. But uh, you really uh, nicely map those things into our how to uh, make our life like our our goals make our goals better in a better way so i think that's really interesting that's something i uh, got from your session okay yeah thanks live yeah so here i mean you are you are spot on right so even in organizations uh, yes hiranta uh, when i when i coach uh, i i pay a lot of attention about the basics right so why I uh, spoke about a lot of basics before we come to uh, the Kanban is simply because, you know, if I just talk about Kanban, you're not going to take away a good, good message, right? And you're not going to adapt it. You might think, okay, this is good, but you're not going to practice it. But it has to come from, come from the basics, yeah? So as you rightly said, my, my strategy is to map uh, these agile concepts to uh, your life such a way you can simply adapt them, yeah? So that's 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 the I think secret of uh, secret you know recipe for me to adopt these practices more effectively. Yeah, thanks for your thought. So let's not take further time. Yeah, so with that I'm gonna end the session. I thoroughly enjoyed the session. You would have realized you know how how excited I am uh, together with my uh, daughter uh, to share my knowledge with all of you. And I really enjoyed the entire you know, session. So uh, I don't think this is the end. This is just the start. Do follow on me, particularly on LinkedIn and uh, YouTube. So I'm going to do kind of bi-weekly, weekly live streaming on various topics that really matter. Yeah. Uh, so in the meantime, do work on that activity. Uh, I, I really want to see some of the great takeaways. Uh, where you sum it, uh, you you do summarize your learning about the entire session into few bullet points and say, hey, I attended this session. These are my takeaways. Uh, so that way, it becomes a win-win, right? You will gain uh, definite attention from uh, the people who are watching it because you are going to talk about some of the 
practice are some of the tricks and tips that will really help others around you as well. Yeah. So with that, let's wrap up. Stay safe and uh, may the force be with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Over to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please, Adil. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much, Mr. Roshan, for helping us uh, learn Agile and Kanban. And it was a great session. And uh, with, the, with the help of your daughter, it was a really interactive session and something we didn't expect, actually. So okay. thank you very much for you. And uh, I would like to thank you people for, uh, for helping us uh, organize this uh, successfully. First of all, yeah. the Department of Computer Science, headed by the HOD, Dr. Uh, J.A. Jeevani. And uh, she was expected to participate and uh, have a small uh, introduction speech in the beginning, but unfortunately, she couldn't uh, attend. And uh, uh, my her, Adil, my my regards to uh, Miss Jeevani as well. Yeah. Okay, we'll pass that on for sure. And on behalf of her, uh, Dr. Uh, Indika participated and started off things. And thanks to them and the department. Uh, for always backing us and then uh, our, our community, the computer science students community of the University of Ruhuna and uh, the organizing committee, which is uh, doing everything behind this uh, from promoting stuff and then getting people into this. And unfortunately, today we are faced with a very unfortunate situation because uh, people who joined later couldn't uh, join the meeting because of some technical error. Oh. I don't know what happened. Uh, so people who just lost their connection and who tried to join back again couldn't uh, join for some technical reason, error. So oh, very right. that's, 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 that's what I think that's the, the okay. number went down. We started at uh, on around 80 and we expected it to rise, but due to that oh. reason, it went, kept going down. Oh. So we expected at least 150 or something around that. But for that reason we couldn't achieve that goal anyway we'll be uploading this uh, recording on youtube so your, uh, please pass the message that uh, anyone who missed this session can catch us through youtube and uh, and also please don't forget to participate in the competition of, uh, which is launched today by mr neroshan and post your summaries on linkedin and facebook and try to win that book which i hope will be very useful and uh, thank you very much for participating everyone and please be in touch with us we are very active on facebook instagram and twitter the computer science students community of the university of rona cssc so please be in touch with us we'll meet you all again with another session most probably in uh, uh, soon very soon thank you very much all right cheers